Hi, you've met with an attorney, and now you've gotten a phone call or a letter, and the attorney has rejected your personal injury case. Why is that? Hi, I'm Stephen Goldstein, Goldstein and Handworker in New York and New Jersey, and on today's video I'm going to discuss with you why would a personal injury lawyer reject or not take your case. There are many reasons why a lawyer would not want to take a personal injury case. First reason is the liability is really not good. What do we mean by that? Well, in a personal injury case, if you're going to sue somebody, you have to prove that not only was the other person at fault, but that you did not have any fault in the accident. So, for instance, to make a simple uh, example, if you're involved in a car accident, and you hit somebody in the back at a red light, well, that would be a reason that a lawyer would not take your case, because the accident is your fault. Or there's a stop sign against you. The lawyer would not take your case. On a trip and fall case, if you're unable to prove what we call notice. In other words, for instance, you fall in a supermarket, and the lawyer asks you, uh, what did you fall on? And you say, I fell on a piece of lettuce. And the lawyer says, well, for how long was the lettuce there? And you say, I don't know. And the lawyer asks you, well, does the supermarket know how long the lettuce was there? And you say, I don't know, and I don't know of any witnesses. That's another reason a lawyer may not take your case. Another reason is your injuries. Personal injury cases are what they sound like. They're about injuries, and they're about how your life is affected. So if you're involved in a car accident, and you have just very minor aches and pains, and you only go to the doctor for one or two months, and then you tell the lawyer that you're feeling fine, well, that's an incident where your damages or your pain and suffering is not really sufficient for a lawyer or you as a client to take the time to go through a lawsuit and to try and recover wages or money. The third reason is you may have had other similar incidents in the past. For instance, maybe it's your third or your fourth car accident or trip and fall or maybe you've had a car accident one month after you suffered an injury on your job and are claiming workers' compensation. You see, your lawyer has to prove that the injuries that you are suffering are coming from the particular accident for which you went to your lawyer. And if a lawyer feels that he's not going to be able to do that, the lawyer is not going to take your case. Now, just because one lawyer does not take your case does not mean that another lawyer won't. So any time a lawyer rejects your case, and most reputable lawyers will do this, they'll send you a letter or call you in and say, listen, just because I don't think your case is good for me, you should still seek another legal opinion. So in sum, the basic reasons that a lawyer rejects your case is either he doesn't think he could prove that somebody else was at fault, he doesn't think you have the damages, or he thinks that there are other cases too close in time so he won't be able to prove that your injuries are coming from this accident. Of course, if you have any questions or you'd like to talk to me about your case, give me a call at the phone number listed on the screen or send me an email at the email listed on the screen. Thanks for watching.